long as we can talk, man. That's what's rewarding about it is like, and this was cool about having somebody with you, like you said. You can't have your own perspective and just be going, just talking about that. If no one's challenging or building on it, then it's like, there's no test. It's like, you don't really like, we're talking about the music. You don't know how it stands up against the wind, how it stands up against judgment. Right. You know what I mean? Because that's really what it is at the end of the day. It's cool to know something or have a talent, but unless you share it or show people, then what's the point? you're going to die with it. Like, what's the fuck? You know? Right. I always, I heard this speech and it was just, God, it really like moved me. He said, imagine yourself on your deathbed. And now imagine while you're on your deathbed, you have all your creations, all your unfinished ideas just surrounding you on your deathbed, asking you, why didn't you bring me to life? Why are you That's making scary. me die with you? Like That's now scary. I got to go to the grave with your ass because right. you didn't want to put in the work. That really made me think, like, I don't want my ideas to die with me. That's true, bro. I heard J. Cole say that. He said that in, like, middle child. He said, I need to get every thought, every idea out before I can before I can stop. I, I want to get every part of me out. Because yeah. at the end of the day, that like, you're going to die. So you all you really want to be is an example or for somebody to learn from, you know? Like, right. I heard Nipsey said, uh, the highest human act is to inspire, right? Yes, which is, is a very, very good quote. It's cliche, but it is like that, bro. Like, if I could inspire you to do something, that's the most priceless thing. Yes. You know? I thought you inspired me with your fucking music and your beats. Well, it's, it's a cycle because you inspire me, so we're like a fucking self-governing creation fucking... It's just rare to see that in someone, to see that, to see someone have a spark in themselves and want to inspire like I'm trying to think of other people I know who want to inspire other people and it's hard to think about I don't think there is I think you've you have to have been inspired in a major way to understand yeah. that you know to understand that feeling that you got and you're like bro like, I want to do what this guy just right. did to me to other people and there's no real way to tell if you are doing that to other people for other people. It's, you're just being you, bro. And hopefully yeah. it is. Hopefully it does inspire somebody. Cause, oh yeah, that really is like if I give you money, like that seems almost fucking weird. But at the end of the day, if I told you something that made you fucking go, did something that changed your life positively, you'd probably be more thankful for, to me for yeah. that. It's like give a man a fish, you feed him for a day. Right. Teach him how to fish, you feed him for life. So you feed his family's life. You feed his kids, kids, kids. Right. Like, it's that a knowledge. domino effect. That little piece of knowledge, bro. It's more than money. And you can die and you might not even know. <laughs> you might not even people, know. A lot of people do. A lot of people die. They get big after. They don't see themselves get big, bro. Pop like fucking a lot of painters. Mm-hmm. You know? A lot of them dudes died poor. And we fucking pass their paintings around like they're fucking gold nuggets and shit. <laughs> pay millions of dollars it's sad man and it was never not a talent and I don't I just kind of wonder what about back then obviously there wasn't a market like there is now for painters oh, like no. you couldn't just paint some shit and be like well fucking here it is you know like it wasn't like a a held thing I mean it might have been obviously we weren't around but that's something to talk about like why why well, wasn't I think back in the day we didn't have as much robots we didn't have cars, we didn't have, you know, there was a lot more help that needed to be done by humans. So if you were a man, like, it was, it only made sense that you would be in a factory. Right, or, right. You know, yeah. We didn't have... Where well, we were as a civilization at that time. You had to grow crops. Like, right. Everyone had a role in their town. That's that true. That was the guy that did the corn. That was the That's guy true, that bro. had the horse. You know. Nowadays... Everyone works at the same factory doing fucking a job that's just so miserable and soul crushing. Where you literally the highlight of your day is taking a shit. A lot of that shit's on autopilot and it affords us to be able to be creative because like even me, bro, like if I had to have a job, like if I was like I think about it like my like my grandparents, right? My grandma my grandma her parents died when she was relatively young, you know? Right. So she had zero other options than to go to work every day. She had kids, 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like at that point you have zero other options. Like you can't, you can't yeah. live with anybody. I think our you grandparents can't. had zero options. I that's think what it my, is. I think when our grandparents were alive, that's when uh, the draft was still a thing. My grandma was in the army. My awesome. grandpa was in the navy. And I, when in high school, that's what I was gonna do. Like I remember being very set on going to the navy. But then I had a kid, and I was like, oh, I really wanna be here for my boy and I hurried up and got the quickest job I could that's this that's what's uh that's what's shitty about it man is it's like it all comes down to necessity like if I could sit around and make music all day I would but it's like at some point something has to fund that music something has to uh, something has to keep the lights on bro if, if the music's not doing it but that all we can do is keep providing value, bro. I hope somebody recognizes that it is valuable. And what's cool nowadays is, bro, like, people don't have to give you money. Like, it used to be you have to give an artist money for them to be successful. Now it's like you just have to listen to my shit and I get paid for it. You yeah. know what I mean? You don't really have to do a whole lot. <laughs> no. So, and like me, I didn't realize... Like, we don't really consider the fact that every song you listen to on Apple Music, somebody gets paid every time you stream every that time. motherfucker. So, whoever you're listening to is getting money for every stream you give them. Yeah. Which is something that gives me, which is weird little things like SoundCloud. I don't get paid for a stream under 30 seconds, but right. it does show up as a play. Mm-hmm. So, like, if I'm even listening to a shitty song, I'll let it get to 30 seconds just because fuck it. You know what I'm saying? I might as well let it get to 30 seconds and then you get paid for it. Right. But even if the song sucks, fuck it. But either way, bro, all I know is we we just got to keep at it. Keep, keep at it. Keep the fire going. Stay inspired. Keep something. Because there really ain't no reason to keep going. So you got to keep yourself going for real. I mean, you got fucking paid up. You got paid what? You say you got paid a hundred bucks? That's fucking hundred bucks. It's pretty impressive, bro. Like as a, like as a, you know what I'm saying? You had a client, you know what I'm saying? That yeah. Year. I mean, that's on my resume now. Yes. All right. That's really. Yeah. That's something that I want to do. Like that's that's talking a about that piece. family guy because we both provided a good perspective on the art and music side, and I feel like there's only podcasts that focus on either the art or right. music. We both We're got, providing we got that, fucking that's both true. here. That, that I listen to music podcasts. I don't even make music, but I like that perspective. Right. So to hear both perspectives, and a like lot we of were, God, I love it. A lot of it applies to both businesses, like being entrepreneurial. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, yeah. the way they can explain it is through music because that's what they do. But at the same time, you can pull what's valuable from it and apply it to art or whatever. Yeah. Even like. I don't know, bro. You've been on top of it, though, with the fucking TikTok, so I don't really see... I appreciate it. I, I really think that uh, because in the past 60 days, I've had 5,000 likes. <laughs> it's but pretty nuts. I only have 10,000 likes all in total, so I've been at it for over a year, but I've already doubled my likes in two months. Right, right. So, you so see, I look at that as, like, the right, next two months... Right. Double ten, right? 20, you know, and it's just. Do you put your shit on YouTube? You're, no. See, bro, like I that's am, what I've been trying I'm, to do. I want to because that definitely I think is the market for people who want longer videos. You know. Yeah, and you know what's crazy, Ricky? Doing like doing music kind of kept me in a box, but when I started, when I started doing like t-shirts, the t-shirts or podcasts, and podcasts, you yeah. almost learn things from that process that you can apply to the music making process oh, you know what I mean so like when you are when you do do something you could do something else now you know how to run ads on your podcast right. from your music so right. learning that shit from the music just right. boosted your shit up in every creative category like you're only expanding your yourself right I like that knowledge man me and you were just me and you but no you could shit. say something. <laughs> but what I mean though is, you could say something, and all of a sudden you're valuable. Like you could seem valuable to somebody, and you right. were, you're still you. Nothing really changed. No. You just read a book one day, picked up on a little fact, felt like you're relaying the message, right? And that is value, and I think that's the purest form of 
transaction. That's why it's like dope to be able to monetize that because it almost gives you, it almost makes you have a certain kind of integrity with your word too because the people are holding you accountable for it. Like you're on camera, you're fucking, you know what I mean? And people, people, you're getting paid for it. Right. So you kind of want to be professional about it. I think that's dope. I gotta start my own podcast. But what I was saying though, bro, <laughs> is yeah, honestly, I think you should, bro, hundred percent. Like I said, it's easy. You can, you can. I mean, easy is, I guess, subjective, but it's figure out of it. You know. What yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. Doable. Yes. But like I said, bro, even with the YouTube man, like I've been with the podcast. The reason why I said venturing off helps me with other processes is because with the podcast, I realized all the different platforms. Yeah, and, and now I you didn't. can apply it to your music. I didn't realize that on the music, <laughs> all the platforms, shit. you can spread it yeah. across all the platforms. I didn't realize that. So that's what I think was dope about your TikTok, is you can put them all on YouTube. Yeah. Even with the shorts or the reels, you was talking about the reels. There's YouTube shorts, There's YouTube yeah. shorts. But the so reels are also a thing. Even, yeah, like I have like 200 TikToks that are really like all different videos. So you could take a whole day and upload every one of them bitches to YouTube. Oh yeah, like that video that I uploaded. I got what? five followers in two hours. Oh, that one you just put up? And like That's I said, nuts, bro. there's a difference. Followers like, like in a It feels followers. good. It feels so much better getting a, like five followers than it does a thousand likes. It's weird that your shit is, bro, your shit is like fucking flypaper right now. It's sticky. It's like people are sticking to it. It's like... <laughs> People like the duck, man. I can't. I just think it's cool. I love like, the duck too. I think it's cool that we're still in the moment of it. We're not fully even understanding. Man, we don't even know what's about to come. Yeah, like, and that's the that's the fun part is like it could happen right now, next year <laughs> or you, tomorrow. Like, yeah, next year you look back like, like I'm just proud of the steps because I remember for a long time not being proud of the decisions I was making. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I wasn't creating. Even, I go through a week and like do nothing, <laughs> like yeah. oversleep or just consume so much fucking videos on Instagram or TikTok. Waste my time. I felt so shitty. I try to stay above like water with the shit. I try not to get too deep diving into certain shit, but it's hard, bro. Especially with like the internet and Instagram, it's like <laughs> it really is it's hard. hard to not be on Instagram. You fall at, down a rabbit hole, man. It's crazy. Like, but I, I try not to be so hard on myself because we have been going hard, bro. Like we was just talking about this a year ago, and we ain't do shit at the yeah. time. I don't. I can't remember the last day I had an upload. And we just at went least hard. One video. He was like, bro, and I think too, like, I don't know if I would have went as hard without you. You know what I'm saying? Having yeah. these conversations and you being like, showing me the shit you're doing. And I'm like, shit, I got to go. I, I got to get, yeah. I got to go to work. This dude's That's, got shit. On that me. really puts my ass in the gear seeing you do something or, you know, JD writes something or just that local creative thing. Like, right. I get so jealous because I know what you're feeling. Like, you just created something. It's a good feeling. I want that feeling. I like, wish let me we, get uh, it, like, pass that over here. Let me get a hit of that. Like, right, right. That's what, like, the highest human act is to inspire, like, yeah. well, I can inspire and you just you, inspired bro. me, and I'm like, well, fuck, now I want to inspire you. Right. <laughs> you know, it's like a back and forth kind of thing. It's just like, yeah, I'm glad that we, we tapped in, though, and was like, I'm locking in, I'm doing this shit. I ain't, I'm done talking about it. Yeah. I'm doing it. Fuck it. And I don't even know when it started, man. I can't really pinpoint a time where we were hanging out where we were just like, I want to do this. Oh, I want to do that. Like, it just, I don't know. For me, bro, it kind of was like, we were, you remember what we was doing in here a lot of nights. Yeah, yeah. You know, it kind of was that. That and was then it. It kind of became like a reflection point of like, what up? I don't feel good. Yeah, like, something's got to give here, bro. Like, I I am trying to correct the path I'm walking on. Right. And not even to say that the path, you know, I ain't judging anything. I don't judge my, my mistakes. I ain't judging nobody else's decisions. All I know is I ain't happy with the way I feel, and I feel like the way you feel has a lot to do with the decisions you make. 
Oh, you know what I mean? Like, if you're making decisions you know ain't right, you almost, it drags you down with the decision. It's like, which sucks, which is a lot to do with why. So you might see me make a, like, a radical decision in my life. Like, I'm going to quit doing this. Yeah, because it's I'm going like, to get a haircut. You know, like, I just <laughs> I'm going to shave my head. Something has to happen, bro. I mean, but even in a positive way, like, for a long time, I looked at nicotine a certain way. Mm-hmm. And I was like, bro, like, I just don't look at it like that no more. Like, I feel like... Yeah, you were the first one to quit. I think you're the only one to quit. I was... It was like... Our friend group. I was under the spell of it, which is like... And I didn't realize that. And then once I did, I was like... Like, I don't have to quit. I can, I can keep going, but at the same time, can I quit? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I would rather look back on it and tell the story that I that I quit than I... You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. what is the real benefit of it? There really isn't a benefit of it. Right. I mean, it is what it is. I ain't judging. I know you do use nicotine, I think you're bro. talking I to me, bro. I ain't judging nobody. I was, and you, you're a grown you, ass man. Like, we all... Like you I, cigarette shaming me, huh? Nah. And I don't even want you to take it that way because... I'm not, I'm not. Everybody makes their own decisions, bro. But at the same time, I was like... That's some shitty man. I highly madness. respect that. Like, that's something like... I know I'm gonna quit nicotine sometime, but like, nah. You really put it into perspective that it's possible. Well, that's the only thing I want to do, bro. Is like make you feel like you can do it because, yeah, it's definitely yeah, not impossible. <laughs> it's definitely not. As impossible. I just light up a cigarette, why are we talking about? But this? even I deal with that, bro, in other aspects, even with weed. Mm-hmm. Like I talking about, I was talking about this with my grandma. Weed is part of my process for emotional. Processes. Which isn't good. Like, yeah, like I'll get <laughs> frustrated and be like, man, I'm gonna fucking go smoke it. I'm enjoy. frustrated. Yeah. And it's like that ain't the proper way to handle frustration, bro, because that can be dangerous if you use substances to handle your fucking problems. It's yeah. almost dangerous. I think there should really be a a week where I don't take any substances. And I even mean social media. Right. Let me let me not have any screen time. Cause I'll get on my screen time and you can check on me. Yeah. And it'll literally say four right. hours on TikTok, eight hours on right. my drawing app. And that's the whole day. And I go, fuck. It kind of makes you realize how short a day is. It really is. It's like, holy fuck, the day like is We just gone. did that hour. You got you sleep for eight. You're awake right. for eight. Like, but even shit like this makes me feel like the day wasn't a waste. Like when I wake up, I do a little workout. I fucking make a little music. I get something like this done. Do my laundry. Get a bunch of shit done. Yeah. You almost kind of look back on the day like yeah. it's just a different feeling than when you look back on it negatively. It makes tomorrow better. Right. I mean, it's yeah. Like, I just don't, I don't like laying down at night with a regret. I feel like I do that a lot. You know, I'm laying down at night like, I shouldn't have did this, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> but you kind of got to forgive that shit and just realize, like, you know, all you, like, in the moment, like, I don't want to be misinterpreted. I don't like to, I don't, I'm always thinking about how you're going to interpret what I'm saying. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could give you a compliment and you could just be in the type of mood that you where you take it like I'm fucking calling you an asshole or something. <laughs> so I'm always trying to be conscious of like how somebody might interpret it. And that's why I feel like uh, music is like if you get to, if it's almost like this. If you get to, if you could have a conversation with somebody and get it all out, look at it, choose which is the best parts, and then give it to them, mm-hmm. you can't do that in person. Right, no, no. but you can do that when there's a median like music or like podcasting. There's there's a median there yeah. where I can get it here. I can make it what I wanted to make it, and then give it to you. Yeah. But in person, it's like I gotta kind of be the, the oh. best version of myself in that moment. Yeah. So some things get in the way of that. Even like being jealous or angry, shit kind of gets in the way of like you you being able to be open minded and you know what I'm saying. Well, what makes you angry? Uh, <laughs> certain things, bro. Like a lot of time, it's just thoughts. Like, why ain't I doing this? Or why ain't I here? Or why ain't I here? Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, it's super cliche. But if you got like a place to sleep tonight, you know what I'm That's saying? Like, get some eat and shit. Like, what is the? 
Like, you should be all right. Yeah. But your ego is like, man, I should be rich and famous. <laughs> and it's like, fuck, man. And you're mad about why am I thinking like that? Yeah, it's very conflicting, bro. And that's why even with the, when I'm, with, when you make it, it's very conflicting because you still got to kind of keep a foot grounded when you make it. Like, I don't even know what I made it for yet. I might have made it for some shit that was bullshit. You might have misinterpreted me and I accidentally blew up off some shit that I didn't know I was intending to do. Right. But you still kind of got to stay grounded to the point where it's like, I heard uh, Robert uh, De Niro say, like, there's a there's an interview series called The Actors Roundtable. You heard I that? watched that. I've seen the whole thing. Was well, that with Robert Sean De Niro? Buff, Jim yeah. Carrey, yes. Don Cheadle. Yes, yeah, he said. I've seen that. Very, very cool. He said something like, somebody asked him about advice, I think, and he said, like, when you're winning, chill. When you're losing, be calm. Yeah. You know, when everything's going right, don't fucking get too high on it. When everything's going shitty, don't get too low on it. Because it's nothing's personal. It's not, like, personal. It's yeah. just, it is what it is. I think Tom Hanks was in that, too. Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks, I and feel like, said, said that in another said, amount of words. He said, this too shall pass. Yes, that's you what know, it you is. You feel great? You feel like you're on top of the world? All right. This that's too what, shall pass. That's humbling, bro. You like, feel you, mad? You feel like <laughs> the world owes you... This too shall pass. He's like, just wait it out. And that's what's weird about hindsight, because you feel like, yeah, you could say that, wait it out, but in that moment, no, that don't seem don't like an option. Like You're angry. It's like, I'm frustrated. But time is your ally. Time the really time is the is healer of everything, man. I just like, we're, gonna, we're not, not going to be here one day. You know, so it's like, <laughs> we can almost, with certain things like this, make it to where we're, we're here past the point of, our physical self, we're gone, but yeah. shit like this remains. That's pretty valuable, bro. And that, yeah, that's always been the driving motivation. You know, that's like I'm getting older, and like life is very short. Time is weird, man. It's like time is weird. It's just only how you remember it. Like, like the world's what, like. 1.7 billion years old. I think it's more than that. Something. <laughs> but we've only been around for like 200,000 of it. Like a very short period of time. Humans have been on this earth. I think it's... And we'll probably be gone before the earth does. Like there'll probably be another ruler of the world. Like how dinosaurs used to rule... Or, I don't know. I know that uh, throughout human history, this is the only point in time where shit like this is possible. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, we're, like people are going to look back on this is a monumental time with all the shit that's going on, crypto and all that shit. And like, just, yeah, like being like metaverse shit, like being outside of the physical yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you can record. It's like a hologram. You know, you almost have, like, a hologram. Yeah, because people like to say, like, oh, why is that blue check mark important? Like, you can't, you can't show that in the physical world. Well, why is all the shit you store in your house important? You don't buy it to show off to people. Like, and plus, I would argue that that blue check is in the real world like that does have a very effect on how people treat you I think like everybody has their own feelings about everything you know some people might hold that in a high regard yeah. so if you interact with them and you have that it's going to grant you a certain perception somebody might look down on that so if you get, interact with them and you try to use that as leverage you're going to look the opposite because they look down on the blue check so it's like yeah, the blue check means something different to everybody. It's like anything, bro. Yeah, it means something different to everybody. So it's like, it's awesome. It should just be awesome for what it is. It's like this. You have that. It puts you puts you in a certain room. Mm -hmm. If you have like the verification badge, it's like you get a message other people with that. Yes, it's <laughs> like it. It has a certain much weight. opens the door to what you want to do. It has a certain weight. It's like it has a certain kind of weight for sure. Yeah. It's like it's almost like if you're uh, somebody who who somebody just trusts a lot, 
it's almost like with having a verification badge is like just because it's almost like we your word is what you are yeah. I'm taking you for that the verification badge is like I don't know it could be deceptive though man because you think everybody that has one is famous but that's, that's not, not the, the case <laughs> yeah it's not I watched the interview on the Instagram CEO and he was saying that it's they'll when you request verification they'll do kind of research on you and if you don't really have nothing like researchable, they're not gonna give it to you. Right. So it's not really based on anything. You know what I'm saying? If they go to you, look your name up, and they feel like it's good enough, then they'll give it to you. But there's no criteria. You know what I mean? For you to be like, oh, you need this many followers, or yeah, like, yeah. like uh, TikTok, you need a thousand followers to and go live. Could, yeah, you could have under a million and get a blue check. Yeah. You and could even, have two million and still not have a blue check. I was trying to get verified on uh, SoundCloud. Uh, I wonder if you could get verified on TikTok, bro, with the with the views you got. You know what I mean? I don't think with the views I got. Why? I think it's got to be more. Really? Yeah, I think you got to like have a certain amount of views on each video. I know you got to have a thousand followers to get live on TikTok. So that's probably. Cause I've seen six hundred what? <laughs> I've seen people with that with thousand followers that still ain't got the verification badge. So oh, yeah. I don't know what it. I think you got a request on TikTok for it too. So, yeah, I, I kind of was for some reason like if you go to Nicki Minaj's TikTok, right? Her songs are a section in her profile. Mm-hmm. Like I wonder how I can do that. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're talking about. Yeah, you slide left and yeah. you can get that all her songs. Yeah, yeah. So I don't. I wonder how you gotta hit up TikTok like request a verification. There's always some kind of like. There's a way. Yeah. Yeah. Even with the podcast, you gotta go to each individual platform and type in your RSS feed mm-hmm. to to fucking upload the podcast, which was a headache, but <laughs> it is what it is. Like you saying, bro, that's just little knowledge pieces like like that. I didn't know that until you did it. Right. Me and you recorded that podcast. It wasn't the best it could be, you know what I mean? It wasn't, the, like, the best podcast on the planet, but it was what it was. Yeah. And even with the music, bro, like, how you was talking about earlier, how I monetized everything, mm-hmm. that was something that, like, I just kn- I knew I should do that. You know what I'm saying? And even if it is bad, I just want to monetize everything because oh, why not? It could happen like that. And even the shit is shit. You could get a shout out for someone big, like go check out him. Yeah. And then they play all your shit, and then you got a hundred thousand fucking plays throughout everything. Right. Cause some shit's better in hindsight too. Like you're like, man, I don't really like that, but in a year you look back and you can find a way to appreciate it. Yeah, it's a stepping stone. I I regret everything that I fully deleted. Like, right. Stuff that I can never get back. Even I know it's shitty. I just, right. I wish I could see how much I've grown. It it being gone forever is worse than it being taken negatively. Oh, you know, it's like I'd rather <laughs> I'd rather be laugh here. at it and cringe yeah. at it than Fuck. never be able to. Because now it's just a memory of something that I don't even know anymore. And that's what's getting weird about nowadays. Because memories, you still want to be personal. You still want them to be like intimate with you and all that but at the same time I do like having my shit I like having an Instagram and I like having Snapchat and shit like that uh, to have just like a like a digital it's like a digital like if you walk down somebody's hallway and they got a bunch of pictures of themselves and their family mm-hmm. that's like what Instagram's like it's like this is my digital wall my hallway my life. Yeah, Instagram, man, is that's addicting too, bro. Yeah. Getting on Instagram is super for addictive. Hours. Well, Instagram is addicting for a different reason. <laughs> right. It's, it's like uh, it's like the new Pornhub. Instagram is like <laughs> uh, it's like your shadow. It's like you can't fucking box your shadow. It's, all it's your like sins. it knows you so well. <laughs> it's like, like I can't. Weed and tits. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, 
<laughs> we know what you want. It knows your weaknesses, bro. <laughs> Straight up, you're your own, it's your, your own demise on there. I don't fuck with that because, like, it's seductive. Wasting time is seductive. Like, you might not even realize you're doing it. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, I think Elon Musk said, like, he's like, sex is the most useless thing ever. Like, because the purpose of that is to procreate. So, like, masturbating or fantasizing about women, it's like, it's all wasted time. There's no benefit from it other than self-pleasure. Like, there's nothing. Like, you're not, you're not getting smarter. You're not, like... Right. It doesn't and how much like, time do you waste <laughs> just like staring at a nice ass or you know that's a lot of a lot of years of my life that I spent just I think some people look at that like a cliche but at some point um, like well, there's these perception things like cool and ugly and whatever but at some point you just reflect on your decisions and you're tired of the, the decisions you're making you're like I gotta make some new decisions so whatever that looks like whatever like, I've been getting a lot of hate for the cigarette thing, man. Like, I would get hate for that. From hate. people in my family and all that. Oh, for smoking? For not smoking cigs. For not smoking? Well, just like... They give you hate for quitting? But, like, we'll, like I'll be with my dad and them, right? Yeah. And them dudes, no matter what area you're in, are smoking cigarettes, right? So, we're in, the, we're in like, camper at my camp. And they're just hot boxing it with cigarettes. <laughs> and it's the same time, it's like, bro, I get it. Like, yeah. this is what it is. Like, but at the same time, like, I just can't subject myself to that all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like, I decided I'm not doing that anymore. So I'm not just going to keep coming around and, and walking into it. Right. It's just starting to drive me nuts. You know what I mean? But I, I don't want to, just what's shitty about it is I don't want to judge nobody. I, I don't. Yeah. You can fucking smoke fucking bath sauce if you want. I'm just saying. I don't want to do it, so I don't feel like I should have to be subjected to it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. I fucking stop. It's like, I quit smoking cigarettes, I still got to huff cigarettes. Like, what the fuck? I might as well not quit. I love just, I've never got the, you know, the whole thing about someone trying to get you to do something. Like, why? I do Why get do it. I definitely to... get it. Misery loves company. I'm miserable sometimes, and I want other people to be miserable with me. Why do you want me to drink with you? Like, why do you want me to... Sometimes I get it. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I'm in a more understanding place than other times. You know what I mean? When you're looking for a reason to understand some shit, you could probably come up with a few. When you're not, you can come up with a few to not. You know what I mean? Like how we were talking about music earlier. You almost want to hate on it. You know what I mean? You almost have a preconceived notion about it. Like, oh, I'm going to go ahead and say this sucks. Yeah. But you almost fucking burn yourself in the ass because you might love that song. You might actually love that song. So Happens to me, bro, a lot. We were just talking about earlier with Kendrick and Kanye and shit. I was hating on Kendrick for a while. Yeah. I kept hearing swimming pools. I was like, dude, why the fuck do I hear this <laughs> song every day? It's not that good. <laughs> but then you hear other shit. And then you kind of... Like, I was young when that shit came out, so I didn't even realize the whole album and the theme of the whole album, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And shit, I didn't pay attention to shit like that. But then you kind of realize, like... And the people who liked it didn't either, you know? Yeah. So it's like, you know why people like this song. I just... Yeah. And now you have a better appreciation for it than the people who liked him in the first place yeah a lot of the shit a lot of in the beginning you're just looking for ear candy you're just mm -hmm. looking for shit that sounds good like it don't really matter what this what they're actually saying that's how it was for me at least like I didn't really like I didn't ever really know who was singing this song mm -hmm. but I knew I liked it <laughs> I didn't really care who was singing fuck it I know when it comes on it's like hell yeah I like this now I'm interested. Now I want to know their life. I want to know how they made it. Yeah, so you start asking know questions. Everything. What's their middle name? <laughs> like, I'm like, what? What's everything? I love watching interviews and learning. And usually they always have a dope perspective. Like, people who've made it, they seem to be really smart. <laughs> yeah, I try to look at it like even somebody who do things dumb as hell. 
Like, everybody knows something you don't, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Like, you fucking know about shit that I don't know about. Like, 21 Savage, I was like, that dude's dumb as fuck. And you watch interviews with him, you're like, oh, he knows <laughs> more than I do. <laughs> and the thing, too, is, like, I don't know, music's in a weird place right now. Like, it's almost dumbed down. It's cool to be Dumb. dumbing down shit, but I don't feel that way. Yeah. Like, I don't feel that way. I don't feel like it's cool to dumb down shit. Like, it's just the catchiest shit now. There is certain, like, I don't like the super, like, Eminem's been in a weird place musically for me lately. Like, I don't really want to hear how many of the same words you can rhyme together. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. Like, I get that. that. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. Like, I get that. But at, uh, at some point, bro, like, like I don't know is if, it, if I'm just lying to myself. But the records just don't seem the same. No. Like, lose yourselves until I collapse. And records a, like that, bro. Yeah. That hits you in a certain place, you're like, holy shit. Yeah. This is, this is not normal. I mean, he definitely hasn't had a record, like, <laughs> lose yourself in a long time. Like, it seems like he's so focused on rhyme and words. It's like, there's, it's only focus. It's like, I get that we're trying to do that too, but. <laughs> Make you know a new song. Like, yeah, but they, they make a creative song. Well, what's weird is, like, dudes that I, like, I'm starting to respect dudes that I didn't respect for that same reason. Like, Royce the 5'9", mm. and Crooked Eye, and dudes who just spit. Like, there's a song with Russ and Crooked Eye. I can't remember what fucking song it's called. But, bro, Crooked Eye goes stupid in this song. And, like, I feel like when I was younger, I used to hate on that type of shit. Mm-hmm. Even logic, yeah. I used to hate on logic a lot because it seemed cliche to me. The lyrical shit it seemed like real cliche to me at the time. Mm-hmm. But now I'm just kind of I get I, I appreciate it. I guess more you than I did. It now. I appreciate it for more. I just as you get older, it's like I don't think you're smarter or nothing. You just a lot of getting older for me. I feel like isn't learning as much as it is re reapproaching the things you already know. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, you ain't even necessarily, me, I'm not even necessarily learning all the time as, uh, as much as I'm like, I should maybe just be looking at that differently. Right. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, what's the goal? The goal is, for me, is to be peaceful. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And at, once you make a goal and an intention, then everything either becomes an obstacle or an asset, you know what I'm saying? Once you have a goal, everything kind of separates itself into that category. Like, is this going to help me get to my goal or is this going to slow me down from my goal? Right. So it's like that. Once you start being like, I want to be peaceful, then people trying to argue with you just is like, all right, bro, you know what I mean? Go ahead. Yeah. You're alone on this one. (laughs) Like, I don't, I just want to go home tonight and fucking chill. I don't care about this argument. But I'm glad that we even sat here and fucking... I wish... I wish we'd have got that first fucking hour-long spiel. Yeah, for sure. I feel like... You gotta reiterate that in the next one or something. I feel like we just gotta off the rip, come in ready, sit down, off the rip, record, like, you know what I mean? No, No words wasted. And also, bro, I need a lot of recharging after shit like this. I gotta, you gotta go learn some shit before you can teach some shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, I need, I need a lot of time to be a human before I can go, like. Well, I think that's a big reason why that conversation was so good, because we ain't children and then that was since true, that bro. last podcast. That, that is so a big we, fucking, that's a, that's a pretty interesting thing you just said there, because that might be what it is. Like, you might just have to. We separate for a week. Yeah, because we both have been doing you sending on five songs with the piano and See that is misleading though, bro, because I made like the beat I dropped today, I made a week probably over a week ago. Right, right. But I get so weird about it <laughs> sometimes. Like there was certain technical things that I couldn't really fix at the moment. Yeah. But I'm very just self critic big self critic to where I'm like I don't know. I want to give it every chance it has to succeed. Like yeah. you don't, like I said, you don't want to fucking. It, you don't want it to be your fault, something that you could have changed, for it to be the reason why it didn't happen. You know what I'm saying? 
Man. That's the worst, bro. Like, I don't mind some shit not happening. But if it's my fault, like, I did something that caused that, then yeah. it's like, that's when it gets shitty. That's why wasting time is so hurtful. Because there's no one who can waste your time but yourself. Yeah. And then, yeah. Emotions are fucking weird, man. I really think a lot of this is therapeutic, but I would like to have a therapist, bro. Or somebody to talk to. Mm-hmm. Just to get shit off my chest. Like, I feel like you got to get some shit off your chest before you can even really be completely aware of what you're saying. Oh, yeah. Like, you got... I got a lot of shit on my mind just sitting in there yeah. that is in the way before I even know what I'm about to say next. I got to get this shit out of here. Yeah. So even when we're chilling, you might catch me on a spiel like, dude, shut the fuck up. <laughs> but it's like, in my head, I just... I don't know. I guess I got, like... This is I feel very clear headed for right some now. reason. Yeah. Like, I feel like, I don't know, I had a lot of shit on my head and now there's nothing. Right. <laughs> you know, like, I'm ready to soak up now it should information. Be, it should be posted now. Yeah. I mean, we got two hours, bro. Of, That's a lot. I want to sit down and pull what's, it, what's good from it because. I want to pull it and I also want to draw. I get like two cartoon characters talking over it. I don't know. Dude, bro, whatever you know what comes I mean? in your fucking head about it, bro. Like, just the highlight clips. Like, I always see animated podcasts. Bro, make a podcast. I will. I just need a new good name. I know Doozy. Yeah. Podcast, like Productions Podcast. Like Doozy Productions Podcast. Yeah. Like Doozy duck cast or something the duck cast the, the pond cast <laughs> that's what Dorian the calls his pond cast the pond cast he calls I know he says the, the swans yeah, welcome, yeah, to the the welcome to the pond is it a yeah. pond cast no he don't have, <laughs> I don't think he has a podcast he should I don't think he does he'd be like one of those dudes I, I would feel like I don't know seeing him he's like on a yacht he's really? like flexing Dorian yeah it was like last year I was like yeah, I remember. Um, this man's making that much money just from fucking giving his perspective. I remember following him pretty early on, bro. Um, and he would just talk about. He would just have those videos. He's kind of stopped posting them. He would have those fifteen-minute videos. They were almost like interview clips. And mm-hmm. you remember, like he would have like, "Why yeah. did this happen to this?" And yeah, he would, he would talk like, about it. Yeah, and that's. And that's almost, it takes the research part out of it. You don't have to do research. He's doing it for you. All you have to do is follow. And that's the type of shit. Those are the dudes I want to follow on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? It's the dudes who kind of provide you value. It's right. like, you're on, he's taking, he's making your life a little bit easier. He just taught you something. And you're paying for it. And, he, and that is what he's surviving off of, which is a huge, like, that's just so genuine to me, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're literally, you took something, you, you were... You, you learn something valuable, mm-hmm. and now you're making money off of it. Like, there's nothing deceptive about that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not fucking nobody over. Right. You know what I'm saying? You're providing a value and getting money for it, which is like, nothing beats that, bro, if you ask me. Right. It's like, such an eye-opener. It just makes you go, all right, I think I got value. <laughs> I, yeah, I just like talking. Sometimes, sometimes you gotta talk, and then fucking other people can. Yeah, I think that's what's lacking on my TikTok channel. Selfies. Maybe not selfies, selfies, but perspective. A voice. Teaching. Yeah. yeah, some yeah. Really would love to make a video of like how I make my comments, how I you know process behind it. How would you do? Yeah. Any any of these ideas, man, it's just like throw them at the wall, fuck it. My Uncle Connor, he's a writer. Mm-hmm. He's been writing a book for as long as I've known him. And I'm like, bro, I respect you, your perfectionism. But at the same time, you're not, you don't have anything out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, you better. have to have something out. Like, yeah. Even if it is, shit, 
even if you think it's shit, I just, I, 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 I want to trust the fact that there's a piece of me in it. You know what right. I'm saying? You can see, like, if you've heard Easy Man. Max, Easy Mac. Max very first mixtape. Right, right, it's right. It's shit. Right. But you can see that right. that Mac in right. it. Like, the quality of the sound, it sounds so terrible. You can tell. But his rhymes, his rap, there's that little piece of it that that's why. That's how he got big. That's like, you t- you can just see. That's the thing, though, ain't it? You almost have to have that trust in what you're doing that there's a piece of you in it. Yeah. And that you're willing to just be like, fuck it. You got to put yourself in it, man. You can't be worried about what others are going to think. It's hard not to. It's just the I've heard the, your worst, uh, like the de- the an idle mind is the devil's play- playground. Who said that? Did you say that? No, that's a fact. I don't mind. An idle mind is the devil's playground. Yeah. Like when you're sitting there, you'll have a bunch of negative thoughts and self self conscious things. Like oh, you're like you're not good enough and all this type of shit. It's like bro, just go do something. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. stop even thinking about that type of shit. Just do something. Just like, fucking upload. You know what you want to do. You know what you're doing. You know you're an artist. You know yeah. you're making art. Just go do it. And you like to tell yourself that I don't know why I can't do it. You like to tell. Right. You like to lie to yourself and go, "It's out of my control." If I had this, it would be different. No, you're lying to yourself. You know right. what the fuck you want to do, but you're just not doing it. That's what's nuts about. The mind, bro, is just... It's deceiving, man. I mean, you really got to think. When you're, when you're addicted to a substance, your brain is telling you, like, I want this. Right. And it's making you move. Your <laughs> whole body. Like, you'd walk up to the store for a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> you're looking for change. That's crazy. And there's this pink fucking mush ball going, I don't want nicotine. Go and get it. Fucking, Go get it. You're doing it. You're, you're listening to this fucking... This evil part of yourself. You better obey me. <laughs> like, I'm fucking walking to the store knowing my brain is making me do this. <laughs> you're like under you're hostage, dick, bro. Dude. You're like held hostage on, this, <laughs> That's on the way to the store. Like, <laughs> somebody get him. Somebody. Like, you're trying to whisper to people. Like, <laughs> Going in with dimes and nickels Help to get some me. cigarettes. And... Help me. <laughs> this is not voluntary. SOS. <laughs> yeah, we are... Prisoners of our own mind. Would it, let me say this, though, because this is something I thought about recently. We're really the only creatures alive, because they say that, too. We're the only self-destructive creatures. Yeah. But yeah. we're <laughs> also the only creatures who are aware of their own mortality. Uh, yeah. That's we're something the you got to think about. That know that we're going to die. You got to think of, you got to actually deal with that and internalize that as a person. It's tough. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, There's I try to... There's no other animal... And knows they're gonna die. Drugs are, man. Like, yeah, I don't know, bro. Like, you already know. We've done drugs. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? We already know what's up. We've done enough. I think, like, like it can just get dangerous, bro. Yeah, because especially when you do it and you know why people do it. Exactly. You go, I know why you like this. Exactly. Oh, my God. I was just watching that. Um, That's the scariest part. I was just watching that J. Cole interview with Angie Martinez at Salam Remy's house, bro. Watch that. I'm, if you have it, you might have watched it. He's Is it got, new? It's 2017. He's got long dreads. Yeah. I might have seen a clip that. or two from it. He said in there, like, damn, what was we just talking about, bro? I know why they like it. Like, you do the drugs and you can understand. Right. He said something like, you're only like Amy Winehouse. She died from alcoholism or something. She drank herself to death. Right. We're all only a couple of decisions away from that. Improperly dealing with our emotions, bro. Even me, man. Like I like it's sometimes you have that feeling of like I don't know how to deal with this. Yeah. Almost every day. Yeah. That's why it really is cliche, but like, you know what I'm saying? I should hit you up more just to see how how you do your mental health is. Like it's a person like Yeah, but, it's been rough. That's what sucks, bro. I get bitten on and like all that, oh god, that really fucked me up. That's what sucks, man. Is none of us have therapy. None of us have therapy, and we're all like you. There is a time and a place to be a therapist, and there is a time and a place to 
You know what I'm saying? Be therapeutic. Like, like you play, you ever play that role for somebody where you're, you're uh, like they're coming to you for advice. Right. You know what I mean? And it's like I ain't perfect. I don't know everything, but at the same time, I might be able to provide a perspective that. Yeah. Try your deal. best to relate. I I definitely. It's weird being the therapist because you never ask for it. Right. Like, I mean, I never ask for it. Like, if I see someone going through something, I'll never come up to them and be like, hey, let's talk about it. Right. But if someone comes up to me and they got some shit going through, I'll never stray away and right. ignore them. Like, I'll, like, that's so important. If you choose to come to me to talk about your shit, that... That uh, really gives me, you know, a good feeling about that, who I am, and that's true. Uh, like I'm approachable, and right, you're looking from my perspective. That's just I'm trying to find the word. But some people, bro, is like they just want to dump their shit off on you, and I'm not with it. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> right when they're just complaining about some yeah. bullshit. Yeah, and you also, like, you have to have enough therapy, like, you have to have therapy, and like, you have to have some therapy before you're a therapist, like, you have to, you know what I'm trying to say, you have to get some shit off your chest, bro, like, not everybody, you can't be a therapist at all times, you know what no. I'm saying, like, you have to. I think that's the best way to get therapy, is like, when someone's coming to you about their shit, and you open up with them, I think that's the most beautiful thing, is when you both can be vulnerable. And now, I think that provides a really good perspective on what they're going through. Like if someone's going through a breakup and you talk about a breakup that you went through, that was hard. You know, you both are open. But that requires you to be, like, some people take that as you're trying to one-up them. Right, You right. know what I mean? Yeah, it's a very risky road. It's, it is it weird. It depends on who you're talking to, honestly. If they're in the best version of themselves at that moment, yeah, they like, might why take it Why are we talking about you? <laughs> but I do that a lot, too. I think I was talking about this with somebody recently. I feel like it was you. It might not have been. But when you say something, and I'll be like, oh, yeah, like, and I'll relate it to something in my yeah, life, yeah. that's just because that's how I understand it. But it's important to always bring it back to that yes, original yes, idea. Yes, yes, That's why I said, oh, that, I, you reminded me because of that. Like, this is why I brought right. it up. Like, I always think that's very important because, as you were saying, you want people to interpret how you want them to interpret it. And you want them to know you respect them, like, like you trying to give a compliment and someone takes it as a bad thing. Like, yeah. I feel like that's a very big struggle with me. Yeah. I don't know if it's because I'm constantly trying to word it the right way and then it comes out the wrong way. <laughs> but, that's just weird, man. Yeah, you, know, you could sound preachy trying to give advice. Yeah. You can, like, some people, like, why are you baby talking to me? That's the thing, man. You better than me or something? And it's nah, easy. man, I'm just trying to help you like how I got help. It's easy to come off condescending, though. For some reason, like, like, like certain people in my life, when they say things to me, it just comes off condescending. I'm like, you don't have to patronize me, you know? But for some people, I just, I don't know, it isn't like that. Right. But for some people, it is like that. I'm like, stop telling me anything. But some people I listen to. Yeah, it's very, very rigid line. I can tell when someone genuinely has put some thought into what they're telling me. And then when someone's just like trying to get away from me. <laughs> yeah, I always, I mean, man, uh, people were always going through shit, but I know that we, uh, we're making shit happen, bro. We're trying to at least, so I guess we're just gonna stay at it. We're about thirty seconds left. We're about thirty seconds left. About we're about we got two hours worth of content, and we can pull from it and take what's dope. And check out Doozy Comics on check TikTok. Out, check out Doozy Comics on TikTok. Check out Tooney Tyke on Instagram. Yes. Very exciting things. And uh, don't be afraid to leave a review and a. Uh, in a rating at the on the on the podcast, <laughs> you know.